It is the end of an era for the Spaniard as he embarks upon a new challenge in the sport. Nicolas Almagro Photo copyright at Gianni Siaja Nicolas Almagro has confirmed that this week will be his last taste of competitive tennis before he quits the sport for good. The 33-year-old announced his decision in a special press conference at the Mercia Club de Tennis 1919. Venue of the Mercia Open, which is a challenger event currently taking place. Almagro has missed large chunks of the tour in recent months due to a left knee injury and is currently without a ranking. The last match he won was at the Mets Open back in September 2017. Since then he has only been able to participate in seven tournaments, including this week. I want to do it here, in my club, with my family, my friends, in my city and in this wonderful tournament that is the Mercia Challenger Open, Bunto de Break quoted Almagro as saying. I have given everything to tennis and tennis has given everything to me, he added. At the height of his career, the Spaniard was once ranked ninth in the world and finished every season inside the world's top 35 between 2006 to 2013. On the ATP Tour he won 13 titles with all of them occurring on the clay. In total, he has won 279 matches on the clay, which is the third highest among active players per ATP Tour.com. Only Rafael Nadal and David Ferrer have won more. A four-time Grand Slam quarter-finalist Almagro's later career was marred heavily by injury. He made headlines during the 2017 French Open when he was consoled on court by Juan Martín del Potro after injuring his knee. A distraught Nicolas Almagro crying after his knee injury against del Potro. Very touching from del Potro. Playing in every tie during 2012 when Spain reached the final before losing 3-2 to the Czech Republic. He also played in the team event in 2008 and 2010. In his farewell tournament, the former world number no. 9 will play in both singles and doubles alongside Puerto Rico's Juan Antonio Marin at the Mercia Open. Almagro hasn't won a challenger title since 2015. It hurts me to participate only in the first edition, but I will give my best and I hope to be playing all week, he said. During his 16-year career, the Spaniard has achieved 19 wins over top 10 players, including Nadal, and has earned just over $10.7 million in prize money. Almagro will remain involved in tennis beyond his retirement. On the same day as his announcement, it was confirmed that he has been appointed the new director of the La Manga Club. A tennis academy located in his home city of Mercia. Did Sousa serve a short ban or was it a mistake by anti-corruption officials? Confusion has erupted around a case involving former top 100 player Joao Sousa and his apparently short-lived ban from the sport. Over the weekend the Tennis Integrity Unit, who is responsible for overseeing anti-corruption in the sport, released a statement confirming a provisional suspension of the Brazilian. In a press release published through their website, the body said the decision followed an investigation into possible breaches of the anti-corruption program. However, the statement didn't specify what those violations were, something the TU normally does. Statement released by the TU less than two days after the publication, two Brazilian sources have confirmed that Sousa's ban has been lifted. Journalist Alexandra Cosenza from UOL Deport has reported that the ITF have now revoked the penalty and Sousa is clear to return to compete once again. The usual silence of the TU is understandable. A little because it does not make sense to comment on what is being investigated, rather because it is irresponsible to divulge the name of suspects and to question the nature of who may, in the end, be innocent. If, at the end of any proceeding that is in progress, T.U. does not prove anything against Fei Jiao Sousa, it will have caused irreparable damage to the athlete's reputation, Cosenza commented about the situation. 
Meanwhile, news site Tennis Brazil has reported that Souza has been told to not comment on the case by his lawyer. He is set to hold further talks with his legal team before potentially releasing a statement. To add further to the confusion, the TU have now deleted the statement concerning the provisional suspension of Sousa. There is no mention of the 30-year-old on their website. Raising more questions than answers. Sousa is currently ranked 404th on the ATP Tour and has an ITF ranking of 12th on the Transition Tour. He has played in the main draw of seven Grand Slams so far in his career. Sousa's best result on the ATP Tour was reaching the final of the doubles competition at the 2015 Ecuador Open alongside Victor Estrella Burgos. The TU is yet to comment on the situation. The world number 33 is hungry for more success in the near future. Many knew that Canada's Felix Auger Aliassim was a rising star on the men's tour, but few predicted him to rise up the ranks so quickly. Starting the season at 106th in the world, the 18-year-old is now sitting in 33rd position following a series of breakthroughs on the tour. The ball started rolling on the South American clay where Auger Aliassim reached the final of the Rio Open in Brazil becoming the youngest player ever to reach the final of an ATP 500 tournament. Heading to North America shortly afterwards, Olga Aliasim scored his first ever top 10 win over Stefanos Tsitsipas in Indian Wells. At the start of the year, you never know what to expect, but I was doing some good things in training and I was playing well, Olga Aliasim said during a press conference on Tuesday. Sometimes, things fall in place like a puzzle and that's what happened in South America. It was at the Miami Masters where the next-gen star achieved the biggest milestone in his career yet. Coming through two rounds of qualifying, he stunned the men's draw by reaching the semi-finals. Becoming the youngest player in the history of the tournament to do so. His run was ended by former champion John Isner. The importance of the match kind of hit me psychologically, he reflected about his match against Isner. It shows I have room to improve, and I make errors, I'm a human. The best way to illustrate the kind of season the Canadian is having is by looking at his earnings. So far in his career, Olga Aliasim has earned $1,020,114 in prize money. 62% of that amount, $633,999, has been earned during the first three months of 2019. As a result of his recent success, Olga Aliasim has secured direct entry into the upcoming French Open in what will be only his second Grand Slam main draw appearance. Not only that, he is also likely to be seeded. At the time of the French Open last year, he was ranked outside of the world's top 150. Where I am now, with the confidence I have, I go into every tournament believing I can win and go all the way. Despite his ranking, it is still up in the air if Augur Aliasim will automatically play in the main draw at his next tournament, the Monte Carlo Masters. The entries are based on the ranking six weeks prior to the event meaning the teenager required a wild card. Otherwise, he will have to go through qualifying. On the other hand, the Madrid Masters have already awarded Augur Aliasim a wild card for the tournament in May. I got a wild card there last year and I hope to get one this year. But if I don't, I'll play the qualifying, he said. Whilst on the right trajectory, Olga Aliasim admits that he still has a long way to go to achieve his ultimate goal. Following in the footpath of his idol Roger Federer, who recently paid tribute to him. The biggest achievement is to be first in the world, he said. I am on the right track, but there are a lot of young players, playing well. The ultimate dream is to win a Grand Slam and be number one. Full press conference in French, English. We are live with it. Felix Dennis, who's back in Montreal for the first time since his semi-final run at the 
Now Soms live avec Felix Kiesta retour à Montreal pour la première fois depuis sa demi finale au at Miami Open. https colon slash slash t dot c o slash g d z 4 m p f q r 3 tennis canada a tennis canada april 2nd 2019 the world number five spoke about his intentions regarding the four-year sporting event on monday dominic team photo by chrysline k Lord, copyright at sport vision austria's chances of winning a medal in tennis at next year's olympic games has been dealt a huge blow after dominic team confirmed that he will not be participating in the event Team, who is the only player from his country to have a top 100 ranking in singles, has instead signed a deal to play at the Kitzbühel Open over the next two years. In 2020 the ATP 250 event will take place during the same time as the Olympics, which the 25-year-old is yet to participate in. The 2020 Games will be hosted in Japan with the tennis tournament taking place on the hard courts at the Ariake Tennis Park. Tokyo is a beautiful city, but I would rather spend a full week in Kitzbühel. That decision was not particularly difficult, team said during a press conference on Monday. Despite opting to skip the event once again, team has indicated that he hopes to feature in the 2024 edition of the Games when they will be hosted in Paris, France. In that edition the tournament will be held at Roland Garros, where the Austrian reached his maiden Grand Slam final in 2018. Of course, it's a bit of a glimpse into the future, because the Olympic Games are in Paris in 2024. I'll play them in any case. He said, team's decision to miss Tokyo comes as no surprise. He once said that the Olympics Games was swimming and athletics, stating that his ultimate dream as a player is Wimbledon. Nevertheless, many of the top players have played in the Olympics before, including Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray and Roger Federer. Murray is the only player in history to win two consecutive gold medals in singles competition. For me, the Olympics is athletics, swimming, for me as a tennis player it's a dream to be here in Wimbledon, to play well there. Of course it would be nice to be at the Olympics once, but I do not dream of it every day. Team said in 2015. Next year's Olympic Games will get underway on July 24th. More than 11,000 athletes are expected to take part in 339 events across 33 different sports. The tennis competitions will take place during the first week of the Games.